Hi guys, this is Edward, and welcome to the 11th video tutorial of creating a Flappy Bird game with Godot. So, in this video we're going to add a pause button so we can stop the game during gameplay. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, having already opened the game stage as a child of the HUD node, I'm going to add a text button. I'll name it BTM Pause. And as its normal texture, I'll assign the bottom post sprite. And just for personal preference, I want this node to be below the edge boss score. So having the node selected, I'll hit Ctrl Up, and that will move it one node up. Let's resize it so its size fits the size of the sprite. And let's also place it at 1010. So it is kind of aligned with the score. Let's add a built-in script and name it BTM Boss. I'll delete what we don't need. Since we want this node to post the game when it gets pressed, we'll connect the signal pressed to this self node to the function on pressed, which I'll create down here. And posting the game in Godot is actually quite simple. We just have to get the scene tree and call the function set pause passing through as argument. Let's try it out. And when I press the pause button, the game pauses. But we need a way to get back. And that is why we are going to create a post menu. Just as we did with the game over panel, we are going to add a container node to hold all the nodes related to the post menu. I will hide the game over node since we won't be using it. And in the HUD node, I will add a container node. I will name it CNTR post. And let's also set its size to the size of the view, so that will be 144, 256. Now, on the original Flappy Bird, when the game gets paused, the whole game seems to get a little darker, which is just a hint to let the user know that the game is paused. So let's take care of that first. I'm going to add a texture frame. And I'll name it text background. For its texture, I'm going to set the rect black sprite. And its size will be 144, 256. So it covers the whole view. And let's also enable expand so the texture responds to the size of the node. Since we don't want to completely black the whole view, let's set its opacity to 0 0.3, so it just seems to get darker. Next thing is the button to resume the game, so let's go ahead and add a texture button. Let's name it btn resume. And for its normal texture, I'll set the bottom resume sprite. And place it over the post bottom, so you look like the post bottom becomes a resume bottom. Now that we have something to show when the game is paused, we have to make it appear when the post bottom is pressed. So let's add a built-in script to the post container node. I'll name it CNCR Pause. And I'll also remove all this. Since this node is going to be hiding when the game starts, we have to make it visible when we hit Pause. So we'll look for the Pause button using utils that get main node that find node btm Pause. And if we found it, we're going to connect its signal pressed to the self node to the function on pause, which I'll create down below. 
and here we are just going to call the function show. And just to make sure this node is hidden in ready, I'll call the function hide. Let's run this scene. When I pause the game, the pause menu shows up. And of course, the resume button does nothing since we have to take care of that yet. So let's add a built-in script in the resume button node. I'm going to name it btn resume. And I'll remove all this. Let's connect the signal pressed to the self node to the function on pressed, which I will create down here. In order to resume the game, we will get the scene tree and set pause to false. Let's give it a shot. And we can see that it actually doesn't work. And that is because of the way Godot handles pausing, which is actually pretty neat. You might have noticed that all nodes have a property name pause mode, which by default is set to inherent, meaning that this node will get paused if its parent is paused. And that will keep going on until reaching the scene tree, which is what we are pausing. What we can do is change the pause mode from inherent to process, so it keeps running despite the scene tree being paused. But actually, instead of setting this one button to process, I think it's better to set the pause container node so all its children keep running when the game is paused. And it does make sense since everything in the pause menu should keep working on pause. Let's give it a shot. I'll pause the game, and when I press resume, the game continues, but the pause menu remains, and it should get hidden when the resume button is pressed. So in the pause container node, similar to what we did with the pause button, we will look for the resume button using utils that get main node that find node pt and resume, and if we found it. From btn resume, I'll connect the signal pressed to the self node to the function on resume, which I'll create down here. And in here, we are just going to call the function hide. Let's give it a shot. And there we have it. Well guys, this is gonna be it for this video. On the next video, we'll keep working on the post menu. As always, thanks to all my patrons. And until next time, see you later.